can't say anything to anybody about this, all right? Well, it's too late for the police anyway. I mean, she... This guy is dead, right? You were there when he was killed? Yeah, I'm going to have nightmares about that for a while. I guess so. Some of the things this guy said, I can't believe there are people like that out there. Well, what about Brooke? I mean, she won't mind that you told me. What does she need? She needs to feel safe again. That's what she needs. This guy also said some other things. Something about somebody who was working with him. Working with him? Yeah. As in serving Brooke up on a silver platter. That's exactly the way he phrased it. A private investigator working on it now. Well, it's not too late for the police, then. All we have to go on is this guy's cell phone. But that's a lot, Rich. From that, you can get a list of, of, of numbers that he called and, and, and numbers who called him. Yeah, we still have a few entries we're working on. Dad, somebody called the guy from this phone. Called who? This guy, Andy Johnson. From this house? Mother's line. Twice. How is that possible? I don't know. We all use that phone. Look, what, what was the date? What night was it? I mean, if Stephanie had somebody else in here who might have called him, we would be here. Eric, dinner meeting. Yeah, I was out that night. Late. I had an interview. Dad, this guy, Andy Johnson, was a lawyer. You know how dead said mother was on this custody case. Why would she have his cell number? I don't know. Knowing her, she'd call the office and demand to have it. She never said anything to you about him at all? No. Just, she showed me his picture in the paper, that's all. Someone called him from this line the night that picture was taken. But your mother didn't know who he was, just some guy out with Brooke. Or if she did, she didn't say. I don't know if she ever met him. Why would she? When's mother going to be home? No, no, no. You didn't brief me on her daily agenda. Sometimes I wonder. Wonder what? Uh, I've always thought that uh, your mother's independence was a good thing, but I, I have to wonder if, if maybe I didn't have a moral obligation to check in more closely on your mother's comings and goings. You know what I mean. I mean your mother has done things for the good of the family, that she would say, that, are, that have horrified us all. Or wouldn't have anything to do with a rape. I've got some questions for her, but I sure as hell don't want to believe that. I don't either, but Ridge. She called this man. She knew him. She lied. I gotta go home. So we find this accomplice. I don't want to leave Brooke alone. news for me. Yeah. It's bad. You didn't find the accomplice. No, Brooke. Um, I'm afraid I did. Bitch. The way you say that. Who is it? My mother. <laughs> 